eyebrows moved up at their outer corners now. It was seventh Kekra, crown Kekra Hesra in Sanskrit, ready to dissolve itself by aligning the sidewise portions of the two jaws with each other by both of them moving up and down in order to get properly aligned. While moving the eyebrows up at their outer corners, the new posture and maneuver had to maintain the space between them raised up to. That was done while opening the third eye kekra. While aligning jaws in their width, I found it was very essential to ascertain that the central portion of the two jaws didn't lose their alignment that it had achieved as the third eye kekra had gone dissolved. As it happened, so, the two lips whitened it like they do when they kiss a sexual partner with full passion and total love for him or her. They also went tight on the denture in its total width covering both sides as well as the center of it. The sides of the upper jaw went up and backwards whereas the sides of the lower jaw went down and forward. This was exactly what had happened at their center with the dissolution of the third eye kekra, which was to be maintained now as the next kekra was in the process of dissolving itself. The protrusions over the upper gum directly above the canine teeth tended to go wider at their lower extremities on both sides, which they had done with their upper extremities in case of the third eye kekra and which was to be maintained now when the new dissolution was in progress. The temporomandibular joints on both sides tended to shift sideways as well. Again this was in addition to their shifting upwards in the case of the third eye opening, which was to be maintained as it was. The entire face turned wide and full. And the best thing was that it had kept its longish sleepiness intact that it had achieved with the opening of the third eye. You can look at my photo here with the eyebrows fully raised in their total width for getting a feel of what the opening of the seventh kekra, that is, the crown kekra akasahasra looks like. It was something like a total facelift, doing away with every wrinkle on the face, if any. Ultimately what happened was that the lower eyelids got raised up onto the eyeballs from below, turning them into two perfect round balls when seeing far away, and bringing the eye side to a state of perfect central fixation. You can ask me any question by filling the form on http colon slash slash www.7kakras.org slash crown kekra, if you need asking anything regarding the 7th kekra, that is, the crown kekra akrasa